Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to restore your iPhone through your iCloud backups or on your computer. So have one or both of these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the first method I'm going to show you is to restore through your iCloud settings through your iCloud backups. So if you don't have daily or monthly backups turned on on your iPhone, you may not be able to restore through your backup on here. But first, I'm going to show you how to do that so you can have this on. So that way, if you ever need to restore um, through a backup, you'll have one or maybe several and you can just restore that way. So we're going to go into our settings. And up at the top, we're going to go into our iCloud. So this is going to just be our name at the top or our initials. And once you're here, you're going to go, you're going to click on your iCloud. And then we're going to scroll down to device backups. And we're going to click on that iCloud backup there. As you can see, mine is turned on. Essentially, when you have the backup, this iPhone toggled on, it's just going to automatically back up all of your settings and your storage and your data. You have all that information saved there. If you didn't have a recent backup done, you can also manually just select the backup now at the bottom. When you select this, it's just going to begin the backup for you, where you can also cancel it at any time as well. In order to initiate the restoration of all of that data, you'll have to first wipe your iPhone or, or reset your iPhone so that it can start from square one. In order to do this, you're going to launch your settings and you're going to go into general. And then you're going to scroll down to the very bottom and select that transfer or reset iPhone. This is where you'll find that reset option. When you click this, it's going to bring up a bunch of different other settings. So you can either reset all your settings, you can simply just reset your network settings, uh, keyboard dictionary, home screen layout, location and privacy. In this case, you'd want to reset all settings. Once your iPhone has been reset, your phone's going to essentially restart. Um, it's going to start back up and then you're just going to follow the prompts on the screen. This is going to be things like entering your preferred language, etc. The same way you would with a new iPhone when you first get it. So you'll follow those prompts until this pops up. Um, essentially asking you to choose how you want to transfer all of your data onto this phone. Um, you have the option to either restore from your Mac or PC or from your iCloud backups, and you're going to choose from your iCloud backups. Um, and once you select that, it's just going to automatically start transferring all of that information from that backup that you had. Now we're going to jump over to our MacBook, and I'm going to show you guys um, how to do it on there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is plug our iPhone into our MacBook. You will get a message asking if you trust the computer, which you do. You'll want to click trust um, and you'll have to type in your passcode. And on our MacBook, we're going to go down to the bottom left to our finder. So we're going to open, up, open that up. We're going to click on our device's name and it's going to bring up a bunch of information on this iPhone. So whether it needs an update, what percentage it's at, etc. Um, most importantly, what we're going to find here is the restore iPhone here. So we're going to select restore iPhone and you're going to have the option if you did not have a backup to do a backup right then and there. If however, you did have backups available, you would be able to choose from all of those pre-existing backups and select the most recent one or maybe an older one. Um, once you have that selected, you click restore. Um, and you will be prompted to type in your password for your iCloud. Once that is typed in and entered, the restoration will begin. And depending on how much data you have, um, that backup could take quite a while. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through Super Stickers. Super Stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue creating content for you guys. So thanks and let's get back to the video. So normally this um, restoration process is super smooth and simple, but there may be the, the occasional time when it doesn't work as it's advertised to. I'm just going to go through a list of things that you can do if it's not working for you. The first thing you want to make sure of is that your iCloud details are correct. As simple as it sounds, you may have just mistyped something um, or typed your password in wrong. Always make sure caps lock isn't on. I've made that mistake myself. The next thing to look for that I did go over was to make sure that you actually do have a backup to pull from. Normally you'll get a prompt to create the backup first if you don't have one, but just always double check that you do. Another thing to look for is how recent your, if you've updated your iOS um, since then, then it may not be compatible anymore 
or something of the sort. So it's always smart to do a recent backup when restoring your iPhone, especially if you know that you've updated since. Another thing to do is to check um, whether your cable is working or not. It could be that the connection from your phone to your computer is not working properly, so maybe buy a new cable or borrow from someone else. Check your Wi-Fi connection. Apple can't restore your backup without a stable Wi-Fi connection, so it could be that as well. If you're using the iTunes method, which I didn't show you in this um, video, this is for other types of computers, um, you may have to update your iTunes. If, for example, you have jailbroken your iPhone, this could also be leading to problems, and in that case, you may have to call Apple support and they can help you through it. Another unfortunate circumstance could be that your iCloud backup has been corrupted for some reason. This is why it's important to backup frequently and have more than one backup available because if one is corrupted um, and, you, and you're relying on that one backup, then you will lose all of your data. So as I said before, when you plug into your computer, you'll be prompted to select whether you trust the computer or not. If for some reason you selected that you don't trust the computer, then that could also be affecting the backup and you won't be able to access all of your phone's information. Another thing I always suggest is to restart your iPhone. If you don't know how to do this, you just hold the power button and the volume button until the slide to power off comes up, um, and then you'll just press and hold that power button to turn it back on. And last but not least, if all else fails, contact Apple support. They can walk you through anything you're unsure of, um, and you can even go into an Apple store and they can help you restore your iPhone there. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this informative. Hopefully you're able to back up and or restore your iPhone successfully with this video. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.